Well, it's easy to take some of the most basic fundamentals of life for granted, like the ability to walk, talk, or see. Well, for Betty Nolan, sight is not the only obstacle in her path. Our Timber Schumann shares how electric scooters randomly left around town are affecting Miss Nolan. It's a problem. I've lived in this apartment for five years. Betty Nolan moved back to Grand Junction from Texas after losing her husband and most of her sight. I have uh, what they say is 5% of my sight. I have no peripheral vision. If you open up my pantry, everything's in alphabetical order. So I, I just go down the list. If I want corn, it's like, okay, <laughs> so this is corn. If I was to look down, I can't even see my feet. I have to do a lot of feeling in order to see things. Betty relies on the bus system and sidewalks to make her way around town, though an obstacle continues to pop up on her walks. They just leave the scooters anywhere, and they don't park them on grass, they park them on the sidewalk. And I trip over it, and then I don't know how to get around it. I walked my dentist just the other day, and I ran into three of them. Scooters have been widely used, which is really exciting. City of Grand Junction Community Development Director Tamara Allen says since the Lyman Bird scooters have been such a hit, City Council is looking into letting other vendors sell in the valley. We think that in most areas that will help take care of those scooters that are left in errant locations. She tells me the downtown area has strict drop-off and pickup points tied to the scooters, but on the outskirts of town, parking corrals are few and far between. And so the hope with those, those scooters are parked out of the sidewalk and they're concluded, those trips again begin and end in designated corral areas. As for the ones left strewn about. It is the responsibility of Lyman Burt, that's part of our agreement with them. Again, in the downtown, um, we mandate that they park them appropriately. If not dropped off correctly, the rider will be additionally charged from either Lyme or Bird. As the 18 month long scooter pilot project nears an end, she says city council hasn't made any final decisions yet. I'm hoping that somebody can do something about it. Timber Schumann, CareX. If you choose to ride one of the scooters, city officials ask that you please leave them out of sidewalks and pathways. In other news,